I believe that God gives doctors wisdom to know how to help us. And, and, and so that, that's not a lack of faith to go to the doctor. So I said, doctors, I, and I even told the doctors, and I'm praying that the Lord would open your eyes to figure out what's wrong with my wife. Little did we know that the doctor would walk back in and he said, sir, this is more serious than what we thought. Your white blood cell count is supposed to be between 6 and 10. Your wife says 145. They diagnosed my wife with acute leukemia. That's how my week started. I said, honey, we're going to get on the plane. We're going to go somewhere. I don't know, Mayo, somewhere. We have to figure this out. She's too weak to travel. The doctor said, you can't give your wife a week. He said, you'll put her life in jeopardy. That's how my week started. And then I heard the word of the Lord. And he said, did I not tell you that this is the year that I'm going to make things right? Amen. So I've been doing the craziest thing for the last 11 days. I've been thanking God for migraine headaches in my wife. Because had she not had the migraine, we would have never gone to the hospital. Had we not gone to the hospital, we wouldn't have known there was leukemia, and the story could be a lot different. But God allowed something, and you know what the testimony of is? As soon as they diagnosed the leukemia, the migraine went, and she's never had it again. There are sometimes God will allow certain yes. things to happen in your life. Mm. Not because he hates you, because he's abandoned you, Come but on. because he's trying to make you aware. He's trying to get your yeah. attention for what he's trying to do. Save you. My wife has to be in the hospital for the next four to six months, and we are believing. We are believing for a complete healing of her body. Amen. A complete healing. 